Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Lynn Wilson and welcome to my home. I know I've been missing an action. I know, I know. Oh, very stressful week. Lots of stuff happening. Very busy week. Yeah, Merry Christmas to my nice little Christmas earrings. We had to do a little ugly sweater dress up thing for work today. We had a conference and uh, the ugly sweater got taken off, but I left the earrings on. So if you hear some clanking in the background, I'm going to show you some pictures while I'm talking. We were able to save up a bunch of points on our Amazon uh, card and you know, you purchase things on your Amazon credit card and then you earn points. And I found out of all the cards that do that type of rebate point system, it is the best card for it. So we have, we actually bought a flat screen TV. We just saved up our points. We've gotten other things along the way. Well, I wanted to change up my kitchen a little bit. Um, we are in a rental, no complaints there, but because of that, we can't like, you know, remodel the kitchen or do certain things, let's just say. So we have to improvise and change it up with, you know, uh, temporary cabinets and things like that. Well, my stockpile pantry has been driving me crazy. It's just not quite yet where I want it to be. I moved it from a closet that was in our hallway, which you watched if you've been with me from the beginning, which is where it had been. And then I look at people like Jan from New York City has a shelving unit. I liked it because you could see everything. And I tried something like that, but it didn't work for me. We've tried all kinds of stuff. So long story short, we are getting this, we got this cabinet. It was 40, I think it, when we got it, it was 46% off like a Black Friday special. And then I had a lot of points. So I'd say it was probably two thirds paid for without me having to add any money. So I added a few dollars to it. So Graham is sitting here under construction working on it while I do this video. So Merry Christmas to all of you from our home to your home. Are you done doing your Christmas shopping? Are you still doing your Christmas shopping? I am probably two thirds of the way done. I have a few more things to get here or there. Um, we don't buy for as many people as we used to, but I find stocking stuffers to be the hard one. I know some people do gift cards and earbuds and stuff. To me, that's a gift. That's not a stocking stuffer. When I grew up, stocking stuffers were, you know, you got a candy bar, you got a new pencil, you got a pen, you got a little notebook, you got toiletries, you got, you know, package of lifesavers. That's what a stocking stuffer was. I don't know. I know people that, you know, you open their stocking, it could be $500 worth of merchandise just in their stocking. Not in this household. We stick to the old fashioned stocking stuffer. So I'm going to show you some things. I went to Dollar Zone. So my mom and I are going to an event in a couple days with her church and they're doing a gift exchange and you know, little hors d'oeuvre things, ugly sweater. Oh, I'm so sick of these ugly sweaters. But anyway, they're doing a gift exchange thing and whatnot. So we, I said to my mom, well, let's go to two places. Let's go to five and below and dollar zone. They're right next to each other and see what we can find. So here we go. Let's go visit the dollar zone.
So what did I pick up at the Dollar Zone? If you've never been to a Dollar Zone, I don't know if you have a Dollar Zone. has a lot of things for a dollar. These were a dollar. I got these last year. This bracelet, I don't know if you can see very well. This one here, I got these two there because I just like the red. But then this one with the little charms. I mean, how cute is that for Christmas time? You know what? A little bling, a little fun stuff to wear. I got a nice big bag. I thought this was adorable. Absolutely adorable. The reindeers, the Merry Christmas. I just really liked it. And I don't even know the size of this bag. But as you can tell, this is huge. So this was a dollar twenty-five. I have a pet peeve about gift bags. I don't like them. I know it's the thing to do. I like the old fashioned, you wrap the gift and you know, you put a pretty bow and all this and they sit under the tree and they look like a Hallmark moment. And then oh, Christmas, you open them up and you tear the paper and all that. That's what I like, but I hate wrapping. And it ends up usually me having to wrap because you know, just with Graham, he can't always do those things for me. Um, if you don't know why, you can go back and watch some of my other videos, but it's not always a, an easy task for him to do. So I said to my husband, you know what, this year I'm going easy. I'm buying gift bags. That's it. We can just recycle them. I'm taking the easy road. So what are some other things? I picked up these. Now I am not into purple. Let me just say, I am not a purple girl, I'm not a pink or purple girl, but they tend to have the best pot holders. You have to hunt for them, but I like a thick pot holder. You don't want to burn your hands. And when you use a flimsy one, you burn your hand. Well, these are nice and thick. Then I picked up, oh, I picked up these for me for work. Stick on like flags. I picked this up, a nice new brush. And I'm talking softly so nobody hears me, but that's a stocking stuffer for a certain young man in our family. Then I picked up this as well, and I'm not even gonna say what it is. You can read it for another certain young man in our family. He's into trying all these new types of hygiene things out. Then I picked this up, and you know what this is. I'm not even gonna say, because the other man in the family is getting this in his stocking, and he is putting together that cabinet, so I don't wanna say what it is, because he's listening to me record this video. Aren't you, darling? <laughs> okay, he's giggling down there. All right. So then they also have a great food section. And um, you will you probably already saw the video. I spotted these, and these are Gavin's style of food. He loves the shells noodles versus the elbows. He'll always say, get me the shells macaroni and cheese. So I got two of those just to have in the house. Then I picked up this and um, this here. You can see what that is. Again, can't say what it is because somebody's listening who's putting together my cabinet. Another stocking stuffer. These I picked up for me. I'm not a huge bobby pin person, but once in a while my hair tends to get longer. I like to pin it up or if it's a, like if I'm working in the house and it's a hot day, where I'm starting, I like to pin it up, but I liked this. Look at this, red and blue, and then this is a gold, and that's black and whatnot. Then I picked up uh, these here for somebody's stocking, and I picked up these. My boss loves Reese's, loves them, but he's always into, you know, he lifts weights, and he's a jogger, and he's into health. But Christmas time, he'll cheat on food. But I thought when he doesn't want to cheat, this is his favorite candy and there's zero sugar. I've never seen that for Reese's. So we're going to try that out and put that along with his gift. And then I picked this up also for stocking stuffers for my guys. And then I picked this up. So you can see what that is here if you can read that but you can probably tell what that is. Again, can't say anything because this person is sitting here in the room, but he enjoys being able to organize things and that would help him organize certain things. A little bit of a mysterious recording here because I have him in the room. Then I found these, I, I've never seen these. 
they're probably in all the stores and you're gonna say you've all had it, but I've never seen it. Loaded baked home style casserole. And it kind of reminded me of, who just made it the other day? Amy Marion made a cheesy hash brown casserole. But this would be like a scallop potato style by Idaho. And it was a loaded, my husband loves this kind of stuff. Sounds good to me. All right, what else did we get here? Picked up this for somebody else who's working on this cabinet. So that's another stocking stuffer. They needed something like that. So put that aside. Pick this up for the young person in our family who might be listening, so I can't say who it's for or what it is, but you know. And what else did we get? Anything else? Got one more. Nope. The last thing I got was this for me. There you go. I went to the Dollar Tree and every time I try and get one of these, they're too small. They don't fit my head. And Walmart, I wanted $12. I'm not paying $12. So this was $3. So I have an event at work this weekend and it's called the Polar Escape Weekend. It's a whole big Christmas thing. So I thought this is great. I have a Christmas party next week at work. I can wear this. I have an event on Monday I have to go to, I can wear this. As a matter of fact, we have an event tomorrow night, right? Two things tomorrow we gotta yeah. go to. One thing on Sunday, we got we got Christmas, Christmas, Christmas over the next seven to 10 days, like almost every day. So I just thought I have a big event on Wednesday at work. So this one was $3, but it fits my head. I don't think I have a big head, but those ones at the Dollar Tree don't fit. So there you go, guys. You're gonna see me maybe wearing this in the next couple of videos I don't know so that's what we got at the dollar zone hope you enjoyed the pictures hope you enjoyed this little haul 